People arriving at my Aini refugee camp say they trekked for a day to reach here with only leaves to eat. But things got worse at the camp. This man didn't want to be identified. There isn't any safety here. How can I feel safe here? There's no safety here, because they are also here. There are many militias around the camp, all around the camp. If someone leaves the camp, they're there, and they kill them. They kill us. The UN Refugee Agency chief visited the camp recently. People told him who they blame for the attacks. They also spoke of infiltration of armed actors in the camps, of killings, abductions, and also some forced return to Eritrea uh, at the hands of Eritrean forces present in the areas. It's been widely reported that forces from neighboring Eritrea have been cooperating with the Ethiopian military to pursue fugitive leaders of the Tigray forces. But Ethiopia's government denies the presence of foreign fighters, even after declaring victory against Tigray forces in November. People caught up in the violence say locals living around the camp are punishing them for the war. There are ladies. There are ladies. Uh... There are ladies who are raped by local people due to this war because they believe that our soldiers killed their brothers. They believe that, so they are raping our sisters, mothers, and they are killing our brothers. UNHCR says up to 20,000 people are trying to escape revenge attacks. The refugee agency wants the Ethiopian government to give them access to the areas where they are hiding so they can be helped. Barbara Angopa, Al Jazeera.